So what is going on everybody welcome to your 35th Android application development tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is uh, show you how you can add uh, Picasso so that you can just start working off with images in your I don't know template and go to project structure click on this app in modules add a dependency plus sign library dependency and say that this is Picasso and I guess I spelled it wrong Picasso right so well probably I need to do it again Picasso and uh, hopefully my internet is working well doesn't look like it is because uh, we should have oh actually I didn't press the button that's quite embarrassing well the second one is what we want and uh, just hit OK and uh, just leave it to compile only OK and uh, it would uh, just set it up so it's downloading and uh, you can see pretty much we are done right so if you just go to your build.gradle file as well you'll see that this little thing is added up and you're all good to rock and roll so what we need to do now is uh, right here uh, not right here actually right here we need to say Picasso with then the context here well the context I would like to say main activity dot this right and then load right here I would just say that this is my current item dot get image URL into then here would go my image view right so I'm gonna say this is my news image right uh, let's just comment this bad boy out all right so okay so looks pretty cool uh, let's try this out and see if this works or not so okay so it doesn't look like it worked or maybe restarted the current activity but didn't do pretty much anything so again looks like that sort of bug which I kind of hated and still hate I guess and I guess we need to build it right from the scratch so let me just build it again and uh, okay pretty cool now you can see that we are getting so sort of sweet images loaded right into our image view and it looks so cool right so what we can do with this thing is uh, we can actually adjust its width and height right so we can say that in item.xml it has a maximum height of 50 so let's just drop that to 20 and see what we have got right so oh okay so doesn't seem like a lot of difference well what if I guess uh, I change it to like 20 dps well in that case it shrinks as well and with 50 dps it comes back to its original and uh, why the heck is that happening 
um, oh oh I know that I know that well that is because we have not set the view bounds so you need to set the view bounds in order for these two to work together right so yeah now you can see that it pretty much scales down to 20 dbs just like we wanted it to so 50 is fine for us and here we go so now you can see that uh, it's uh, way too close because of the image so let's just change it to 70 and see how this looks like and here we go so it looks pretty cool and simple and uh, awesome actually so you can just increase it a little bit if you want to but I guess this much is fine so yeah that's pretty cool and actually you have developed your first app so users can just come across and just well we don't have any click event well we do have one but that's useless as uh, anything could be so what we can do is actually we can uh, open browser whenever this is clicked with the URL I guess we have no yes we do have the link right here you can see so we can just open this link as well on the click and we'll just take a look at all those last minute customizations in the next tutorial and if you like this one then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching